Sunset Gaming 1 over here today, and today I have another command book video for you after the constant stream, well, constant stream, a uh, bunch of snapshot videos, and there will be coming a lot more of those. But yeah, today I made telepads in Minecraft. So basically, uh, this is a really cool system. It basically just makes telepads so that you can TP from one telepad to another anywhere in the world, so that you can just put them somewhere and you can teleport to them. So yeah. That's basically what you can do. So I'm just gonna put them down. Uh, they do all have to be made separately. You can just use the same item for all of them. Uh, the way the system works, uh, I made it. So you place telepad, you place another telepad. I'm just gonna place them in a row here for easy demonstration. So I've got three telepads here. It says the telepad one, telepad two, telepad three. And you can just place these somewhere and if I come close to telepad 1 or just about right above it or somewhere in, in the near vicinity uh, and I then I get the, this in my um, in my chat so it just says teleport to telepad 2 teleport to telepad 3 and that's because I'm on right, uh, 1 right now so yeah if I press teleport to telepad 2 I'm teleported to 2 and it will ask telepad 1 or 3 because uh, I'm already on two and with this one it will ask one or two But yeah, if I go here and I just press on three I will now get teleported to telepad three and then from three I can go back to one So yeah, that's basically the way it works It can be made to work with I think like as many telepads as you want as far as I know, but yeah uh, What I could also do right now. I don't have a system in place for removing them But I did maybe want to make something like that that when you place it again or that you can do something else to remove the telepad but right now I just have to do it by command and hand but yeah uh, that could use some improvement uh, for anyone who wants to make a add to, add it to it or make it kind of their own thing like I can place this one here this one here and just place telepad tree way over here just uh, kind of test them a little further away so first I'm just going to go from telepad 2 to telepad 1. We are at 1 and then 3 is all the way back there. So we're going to TP to telepad 3. And now we're all the way back here. So yeah, as I said, the cleanup uh, could use some improvement. But that could be done pretty simply. You could just have a remove telepad uh, item which just in your range kills the telepad armor stands. And just sets the sea lantern block beneath them back to... Well, I guess it would remove it, the sea lantern block, because it does use set blocks, so the block beneath it will be replaced, just so that you know. Um, but yeah, let's get on. So these two blocks are just a clock. Uh, this is just a fill clock, redstone block, and stone. Really simple fill clock, just uh, basically a really fast clock. Uh, so yeah. And these three rows and these three rows basically all the same but for different telepads. So if you had five telepads, this would be five rows and this would be five rows. So I'm just going to go for one row each because they're practically identical, the rows, except for like two uh, two letters maybe. So first we test for an endermite named telepad one because these are endermite spawn eggs renamed. And when we spawn telepad 1, it spawns a endermite, as you, you might have spotted it because it is there uh, at first, uh, named telepad 1. And then we execute at this endermite because this is pretty simple. So, oh, this is a pretty simple command. So, yeah, I'll just put all the commands in the description like always. And then we execute at E, uh, that same endermite, endermite, and then name is telepad. We summon armor stand. And then we summon an invisible armor stand with also the name Telepad 1. And no gravity so that you could summon it in mid-air, I guess, against the block and would stay floating. <coughs> Sorry. And then um, no gravity 1. Yeah, I already named that. And then custom name visible so that you see the names above the Telepad so that you can identify which Telepad it is. And then we have a kill at E, so this basically just kills that Endermite Nate Telepad 1. Uh, the Endermite we've been testing for all along, so yeah, that's pretty simple, it just kills it. And then we execute at the armor stand, uh, also called Teleport 1, Telepad 1, not Teleport. And we set block beneath it Sea Lantern, so I just uh, put a Sea Lantern beneath it. Now that's just a static, so yeah, 
That's not absolutely necessary. And then also I summon another armor stand at the armor stand named telepad. Another execute command. We summon an armor stand, two blocks beneath it so that it's in the ground. And it's invisible. Invisible what equals one. Custom name pad one. So this has a different name. So if you want to make a cleanup item, you would basically have to make something that when you activate it, it would kill all armor stands named pad 1, pad 2 or pad 3 or more if you have more armor stands and then also no you f it would first have to set uh, the lead of the sea lantern block beneath it and then kill the armor stand pad 1, pad 2 or pad 3 did not include that in this version of the system but that is perfectly possible and then we have it a equi uh, an equipment tag which has four empty ones because we don't have give it any weapon or armor we just give it a sea lantern on its head which makes for the two sea lanterns within each other because otherwise it would just be a sea lantern it wouldn't really look like much of something special so I did that and that just basically summons the telepad and the other rows over here are what actually make it work so here we execute at that armor stand the telepad one armor stand uh, we test for any players within a radius of 1. So in case you don't know, in the, within a radius of 1 doesn't mean that we only test for the player that is directly on the telepad. We test for uh, the player to be within a uh, 1 block radius, which is this plus sign basically. So if you're 1 block next to it, it will also activate. There is a way to uh, test for people within 1 block. I can't think of it right now, but yeah. Uh, this was fine because then also you can just get close and it will then execute these tail row commands now tail row commands I personally use a generator. It's a lot easier. I think it just generates the tail row command for you It's easier than writing them yourself because uh, Kind of complicated, but yeah Here it just says the text uh, Teleport to telepad 2 you could take this command out of the description and just edit the text uh, here and it says teleport to telepad 2 question mark and then it has the color dark blue you could also just edit the color by replacing dark blue with just like blue or red so yeah it's also a really easy command to just paste and uh, copy paste and just edit some things and then here's the run command value and the command is slash execute at e armor stand name is telepad so it's once again executing at the armor stand uh, it will tp the nearest person to the armor stand so that will uh, whenever you activate it, that would probably be the person nearest to it, probably the one standing on it, and it will teleport it to an armor stand with the name Telepad 2, and this is just the same, but for Telepad 3. So yeah, and the rest of these are also the same, but for also for Telepad 2, and then just the right ones matching up. Uh, now there might be one problem with this, is that once you have the things in your chat, the terror roll commands, you could just click them whenever, even if you're not close to them, to TP. So you could use something else than Tower Roll to maybe activate them, maybe just standing on them alone uh, could like activate it, but that would require a lot more effort because then you couldn't choose where to TP. So yeah, uh, the system could be done in many different ways. This is my way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, commands will be in the description. We'll download also as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.